Hello, hello and welcome to API Flow YouTube channel. Today we will talk about how to use data from Microsoft SQL Server views in your Flutterflow apps. And we will build a very simple demo where we will show data table with some data from our view and uh, we'll display a very uh, simple list of our co-workers, of our employees. Uh, so how we will do this? First of all, I need to create a project in API Flow. API Flow allows you to connect different services with Flutterfall. And in this case, I will create a new project and select Microsoft SQL Server as a data source. So next, you need to create Microsoft SQL Server connection. You need to provide server address or IP, server port, username, and password for your user. And after this, save connection. I will use already created connection. And I have my sample database AdventureWorks uh, sample database provided by Microsoft. It's sample database, it, it contains a few views and we will use one of them. First of all, I will deselect all tables selected by default. We don't need them. We will not work with tables. Uh, you can use tables, views and stored procedures with uh, Microsoft SQL Server. So I will use human resources employee view to show data, to visualize data in my application. So after I configure it, what entities I want to assess, I can publish my project online. And next, what I need to do, I need to download open API definition. This will allow me proceed to Flutterflow and create a new project. I will call it employee uh, DT demo, like data table demo, and create a blank. We will not use Firebase and we will just start building our app. I will uh, switch to white screen and I will rename uh, my application main screen. And next, what I will add, I will include a clone here and I will, and I will put a data table inside, data table inside, and we will use this data table. I will rename it to a name, email, and a name, position, position, and form, for example. Form. Next, what we need to do, we will uh, create inside of our page, we will create variable to, uh, no, sorry, not yet. We will go and we'll connect our API call. Uh, we will upload our API definitions that we just downloaded from API fall. So we have here our API definition and what we need to do, we need to go back to API flow and copy uh, security header and add it here in API group. We need to paste that values that we copied from API flow. Then we click save. And as you can see here, we have single action list human resources employees. We can rename it if you want or if it is, and you can send the test and receive some data back from our database. So now I will connect, uh, copy this data and we'll go to data types and we'll import this as employee model, as employee data type. From JSON, I will post my JSON Post my JSON here and create data type. I will remove some extra fields. I don't need them. I will use 
uh, on the I will remove these extra data types created by system and I don't need them sometimes you need to clean up a little bit I will not use this and I leave first name last name uh, job title phone number and I can remove everything remaining I will not need it so I have this for fields and now I created my data type and I go to my page select my page and we'll add a page state variable i will call it team and i will set it field type to data type is list of employees i will save it and next what i will do i want to load data into that variable so I go to actions of my screen of my page, open it and add an action. It will be backend database API call. We want to call our list human resources employee and we want to save it as API team, for example. And uh, another one moment. I will return to my API call section and will set result of my API call to be parsed as employees. And this is a list of employees. So I will parse result of my data request, API request into employees list. And now here for my API collection, I will have it parsed to data type automatically. And what next I do, I add action, state management, update page state, set field team to result of my API call, action output API team as data type. Okay, so now when my page is loaded, a result of API call will be automatically parsed into data type and that data will be saved into our page state. So next what we need to do, we need to, we need to bind our data table, as you can see I selected data table, to bind it to uh, dynamically generated child, uh, children, uh, we must uh, configure dynamic generation. So we will use our page state variable team to use to generate our rows of our data table. So we will call it this variable our team and save it now all the rows will be automatically generated we have here our labels and all next rows will be automatically generated from our request so uh, what we do next we will bind our values our cells to data from uh, employee data type for first column i will use combine text action to combine First name, first name, some space and last name. So you can see I have access to our team item. So it will be every single person from my request. And I can, next what I can do, I can bind position, job title job title and next bind phone number okay let's see how it work how it will work so what data table will be produced from our microsoft sql server view 
use our very good uh, data entities to aggregate some data and uh, usually your project will have views to read only assess like to just aggregate and show some data and connecting data from microsoft SQL views into flutter flow uh with api flow uh, can provide very good value for your project, for different reporting, for reviewing some data, for uh, data analysis, and etc. And etc. When you don't need to modify the data, or you will modify data in tables, and this will produce changes in views. So, application is building now, and we will see result of our work here and we can see data that is selected from our Microsoft SQL Server view into Flutterfall application. Uh, I hope this uh, tutorial will be useful for you. It's not so complex, but usually it's a big question how to connect view from SQL Server to some external application. So I hope this will be useful for you. Uh, I'm preparing next tutorials about usage of different, different available features for Microsoft SQL Server and other services. So please subscribe for the channel, like videos that you like, ask questions in comments. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.